Hey everyone, Pratima here. Hope you're doing well. So, you might know that the wearable industry has been on a steady rise for the past few years with budget smartwatches especially getting more and more common. So, I keep on asking myself one question. Do budget fitness bands like these even have a reason to exist in 2023? But every now and then, some new product comes along that makes me realize, yeah, you know what, there is definitely room for low-cost fitness trackers in 2023. Like the Xiaomi Band 8 that I recently reviewed. Although the past couple of Mi Bands were kind of boring, Xiaomi has reminded everyone why it's still the king of budget fitness trackers. Besides, Xiaomi, Huawei is another company that makes affordable activity trackers and today I have its latest 2023 version, the Huawei Band 8. It's currently out in China and a handful of other markets for around $40 and should be available in more regions shortly. For the most part, Huawei hasn't done anything significantly new with its latest fitness band, be it in terms of design, display, battery life, or health and fitness tracking itself. These two activity trackers appear to be almost identical on paper. But as I spent more and more time with this thing, I've come to appreciate the Huawei Band 8 in its own unique way. It's like what Michael Scott said to Dwight, keep, keep it simple, simple stupid. stupid. Anyway, Huawei has fine-tuned the things that matter the most with any fitness tracker, which is health and fitness tracking itself. So, let me start there. As expected, the Huawei Band 8 covers all the basic health monitoring features you'd want, including all-day heart rate, stress, and sleep monitoring. But what I especially want to single out is its heart rate monitoring because that's remarkably accurate. Usually, what I've seen with such budget fitness bands or even some full-fledged smartwatches is that their heart rate reading is reliable enough only when you're laying still, but as soon as you're active in a workout or something, their accuracy level takes a big hit. But that is not the case with the Huawei Band 8. For example, I took it for a spin alongside my Galaxy Watch 5 Pro and both of them logged my heart rate levels pretty much the same. As you can see from this chart, except for the slight spike around the 35-minute mark, Band 8's heart rate data is spot on. It also managed to identify my workout intensity into different heart rate zones quite accurately. It did fall short on the pace and cadence data, but I hope Huawei continues to update this new TrueScene 5.0 hardware for even better heart rate measurements. So, overall, the Huawei Band 8 is an excellent heart rate tracker for the price. Plus, for the first time in the history of this lineup, the Band 8 can now broadcast your heart rate data via Bluetooth to external devices like, say, a smart treadmill or just some third-party services like Pulsoloid to create your real-time heart rate levels without having to refer to the Band itself all the time. I have found its sleep tracking to be plenty reliable as well. Comparing it to the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, these things go toe-to-toe -to -toe in terms of all the basic sleep and awake time. Um, now, since Huawei and Samsung have wildly different principles for gathering sleep records, I obviously could not get similar deep light and REM sleep data here, but the way Huawei Band 8 evaluates my sleep data and makes helpful suggestions for improvement is just incredible. Moving on, the Huawei Band 8 can also take your blood oxygen reading all day, every day. Um, I even compared it with a medical grade pulse oximeter a couple of times and was getting remarkably similar readings. Apart from all this, the Band 8 actively encourages you to exercise more in a couple of ways too. First is the activity records. It's uh, similar to the exercise ring you'd find on Apple Watches and it's geared towards keeping you active throughout the day. And there's also something called healthy clovers which goes one step further to paint a bigger picture of your well-being. Okay, besides usual things like daily steps and active times, I like how it even takes sleep cycles, water intake, stress levels, and more into account. And it's customizable depending on what health goals you would like to achieve. I am currently working with a relaxation-focused health plan and yeah, the Huawei Band 8 has definitely pushed my everyday routine to include more exercises, drinking more water, and sticking to my sleep goals. As for the fitness tracking side of things, Huawei Band 8 can record around 100 different workout modes with the majority of them just logging your heart rate, calories, and training effect only instead of anything specific to the workout itself. 
The Band 8 can, however, automatically detect walking and running exercises, although it does not pause the workout after you finish your running. What it does is, instead of pausing the workout instantly after you have come to a stop, it takes a couple of minutes before asking if you'd like to pause or end the workout. Anyway, the Huawei Health app here is also incredible to get around. Its UI design is fantastic and everything is just laid out so wonderfully to give you a proper overview of all your health data. Now, talking about the design, it's the same rectangular look we know and love and Huawei has managed to make it slightly slimmer and a couple of grams lighter this time. Its AMOLED display is also the same as the one we saw on its predecessor. Um, this is still a decent screen to look at with vibrant colors and sharp details. However, things like auto brightness and a smoother 60Hz refresh rate are still missing here. I've also found its touch response rate to be a bit unresponsive at times, while some screen elements, especially the workout menu, feels a lot laggy. Guess Huawei could fix it with a few more firmware updates, but let's see. I do like how Huawei has tinkered with the band's UI elements to fit a lot better on the screen though. From fitting in more options in the Quick Control Center to grouping notifications on a per app basis and also this handy new sidebar that lets you quickly check the weather, control music and a couple of app shortcuts, the Band 8 feels more intuitive to get around. Okay, lastly about the battery life, Huawei still promises a maximum of two weeks of backup or nine days under typical usage, but now it charges much faster as it can go from nil to 100% in just 45 minutes. Okay, let's wrap up things now. Based on everything that I've discussed so far, it's clear that the Huawei Band 8's biggest win is its health and fitness tracking abilities itself. Huawei has played to its strengths here and that has worked out wonderfully pun intended. So if you're new to the world of fitness trackers and want something that gets the job done and does not cost too much, then I'm sure the Huawei Band 8 will not disappoint. But I just wish Huawei had put a little more effort into improving the overall user experience side of things as well. From a better display to smarter UI UX and maybe even a better build quality, there are a lot of things it could have done better. So if you want all the things that I just mentioned, then you should definitely check out the Xiaomi Band 8. Its fitness tracking ability is not the most accurate I've seen, but for casual users that care more about the general experience instead, it's a better choice in my opinion. So everyone, that is all for my review of the Huawei Band 8. Like always, this unit was purchased by Gadgetbyte itself for review purposes and there have been no editorial input by anybody whatsoever. Saying this, I'm Pratima Adhikari and thank you so much for watching. I'll be back soon.